most of the people love to fly. They could wish to have wings. Without wind, you can't fly, you know. I always pray, like, okay, please, wind, blow. My family loves the sea because we make our life in the sea. The ocean I really have to respect because it makes my life better, you know. And anything that makes your life better, you have to respect. I love how I grew up. Learn how to live in the nature, like without money, like going fishing. Once I went to the city, I knew I'm not belong here. I have to go back to the beach and feel the wind and the sea. My story is, how I can say, it's not so easy. <laughs> because, I mean, to learn kitesurf, you need to have a lot of money. I had a chance, you know, after studying, and I started as assistant. And then I worked there about a year. I didn't know how to fly in a small kite. But I remember a lady from Spain, so she knew that she's going to leave. And then she said, okay, I'm going to teach you how to kite. It was really light wind, but everyone was on the beach and everyone was like clapping to me, like, ah, he did it, he did it. Because it was like really rare to see locals doing Kaiser. I was on the beach always. Every high tide, spending six hours in the water. And it took me about three years, I could do like crazy stuff because I was all the time in the water. Soon that you grab the kite, you forgot all the life that you live. And you feel like really, really free. It's kind of meditation, I can say. This is like a sport that you never finish. You're always interested to learn new things. Via internet, I didn't have a lesson how to do like a freestyle or something like that. And then I found Aaron Adlon, king of freestyle and kite and I would just follow what he's doing. You know? So without internet, it could be even hard because then I'm supposed to pay a lesson. Before kite surfing, I was like I was still on the beach, but I didn't know many people. I didn't get many friends. But as soon that I became kite surfer, and I now I know many people. I love to share this sport. I took about 10 kids every low season, and I teach them how to kite. Now we have a big team, as you can see down the beach. We have about 20 local instructors, and this is, I'm really happy, because before you couldn't see this kind of thing. No locals, and now you can see the locals doing the crazy stuff, you know. I'm really proud for that, you know.